Hello, everybody. We're coming to you live from Festival Yards. We'll give a few seconds here for people to come on. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be walking around part of World Showcase. We're going to start here in Canada, make our way up to the American Adventure, and take a look at some of the hidden characters that are found in the different World Showcase pavilions here. Like I said, it will give. Let's do another. Uh, we'll wait for about 30 seconds to let people hop on here before we start walking around and taking a look at all this stuff. While we wait, how's everyone doing? <clears throat> Hopefully, everyone's doing well out there. So like I said, today we are coming to you from the Festival of the Arts here at Epcot. We are currently in the Canada Pavilion. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be walking around World Showcase from here to the American Adventure, taking a look at some of the hidden characters found for the festival. And then next week what we'll do is we'll come back here and we'll do another broadcast and do the other half. And then eventually we'll also have the ones that are over in Future World as well. So there are two different hidden characters that are found here at the Canada Pavilion. If you look right below the hotel, you can find the waterway there. And coming down under the waterway, we got Coda with a fish from Brother Bear. He's right there. Good morning, love pugs. Okay, so we just had a bunch of people come on. So for those of you guys who are just coming on, we are coming to you from Fussily Arts. Oh my gosh, why are you not letting me zoom out? Oh, hopefully. Yeah, that's close enough. So we're going to be here from Fussily Arts. We are going to be taking a look at some of the hidden characters that are found throughout the festival. So that was our first one was Coda here at the Canada Pavilion. But we do have another one that is hidden here. I was actually guessing that this year for the festival they were going to add a turning red one, but I was incorrect. Or maybe I was correct and I just have not been able to find it yet. But the only other one that we can find here is like in the most random spot of all. If you remember the Pixar short cartoon, uh, Bao. Got him right here. I think it's one of the most random ones throughout the entire festival. In like just the most random spot. I can't even think of it. was that set in Canada? I can't remember. I actually just watched that short not that long ago too. So I was thinking we we're gonna have a turning red one this year. Maybe I just have not been looking hard enough. I've not found one yet. But let's make our way to our next building. Which will be the UK. It's also very windy here today. I apologize. While we head over to the UK, um, let me know, have you ever been to Thessal Yards? Which one of the festivals is your favorite festival? There's gotta be a turning red someplace, right? I just fear they always like to do the cross pr promotions. So if I had to rank mine, mine is Festival of the Arts, then the Flower and Garden Festival, then Food and Wine, and then the Festival of the Holidays. Although the Festival of the Holidays actually might overcome Food and Wine. I'm just not a big food person. Oh, 
when we go through here, we also have these giant pitchers that guests can go inside of. Over here is Peter Pan, the Mermaid Lagoon, and Skull Rock. Those were extremely popular the first like three or four years. And then last year and this year, you can usually just walk up. No wait. Okay, here at the UK Pavilion, we've got multiple characters that are kind of hidden throughout. I'm also hoping that we don't get to anywhere. We have like people just kind of standing in front of the characters. Because that almost always happens to me here. Oh, these people are making it away. No, no, they're walking right in front of the characters. Okay, they're leaving. The others have to say, and then Skippy from the same film. If you came here during the first year of Festival of the Arts, they only had Skippy. Robin Hood and Little John didn't make it until year two, which I find really funny. The fact that they did not add them until later on, because they're the main stars. All right. So in addition to these three characters, I'm gonna go around the corner here. Peter Pan, well, as Shadow. Now, Peter Pan is one of my favorite films of all time. I've seen it like hundreds of times. I can verify that this is not what the Darling Children's bedroom looks like at all. So Peter Pan is now creeping on other children as well. Shame on you, Peter Pan. Well, at least it's Shadow. Okay, what were people saying? Say with me, code. Uh, I just saw the messages just popped up. Yeah, I wish Hustle the Arts was a lot longer, too. There he is. It's such a nice festival. Like, I absolutely love it. So much to see, so much to do. But because it's so short, like I feel like I'm at Epcot all the time between the months of January and February. Alright, so our next stop is gonna be the France Pavilion. The France Pavilion actually has the most characters hidden throughout. our way first over towards uh, Remy's Ride to Adventure. Now, two years ago, during Festival of the Arts, if you wanted to see the hidden Remy and Emile, they were actually over by the bakery. And then last year, after Remy's Ride to Adventure had opened up, they moved the two of them. So they're actually in the respected area. Tower up there. So it makes sense that France would have so many characters because 
France is the number one country for inspiration for different Disney films. Everything from Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Ratatouille, the Aristocats. There's been a lot of different things that have come out of French fairy tales. So it just makes sense. What we're going to do is we're going to make our way up towards Ratatouille. But in order to see this one, you don't have to go all the way to Ratatouille. It's going to be on this little walkway on the way over. Yeah, it's a very busy day today. Unfortunately, I was, I was hoping for a slower, a slower day. Also, my friends and I have dipped into this several times. Is this a hidden rat? So the ears, and then the eyes, mouth. Let me know in the comments. I've literally had this debate with several people. I personally think it is. the other day. I was walking through here. There's a kid who was so excited because there's an arcade here and he was disappointed to find out that arcade is not a video arcade. Alright, up here by the light we got Lumiere. Actually lighting the light. We can do it from a different angle. You can see him lighting the light. That's three. Our last one's gonna be right around the corner up here. And up here at the top, we got the cats from Aristocats. And everyone else is just walking right by him without a care in the world. Zach and I got it. Oh my gosh. I like the rule that I put in place where I think we should have a day at Disney where the only people allowed in are the people who are subscribed to me or follow me on Instagram. I think that just sounds fair. So there can be like 20 of us in the park. <laughs> okay, we're gonna continue our way through the crazy sea of people. That's coming up on the right hand side where I purchased my only piece of artwork that I purchased this festival. I actually get the last one. You guys joined us on the Wednesday show the other day, you saw it. I know these, they might still have prints. They keep on restocking the prints. Let's see if they have the print here. 
It's way in that corner. Like that would be well near the but I thought in Hollywood. There's way too many people there. Um, it's in the corner, <laughs> but it's a Disney afternoon print. I'm a massive fan of Disney afternoon, aka things like Ducktales, Chippendale Rescue Rangers, Tailspin, uh, Gummy Bears, Goof Troop, all those fun things. Darkwing Duck. The next one we're going to take a look at is, has always been one of my favorite ones at every festival. This is the very first festival. These people are taking a picture in there. So we'll go this way. here at some point. It's kind of hidden someplace. Like flying over the head. So I love the Yabu one. Nothing. Keep on walking around. Magic carpet. At least we still have a boot. We never had the magic carpet, but it'd be great if we got the magic carpet at some point. All right, we're gonna make our way to our second to last stop, which is gonna be the Germany, or not the Germany Pavilion, I'm sorry, the Japan Pavilion. So the Japan Pavilion doesn't have three characters. I'm really surprised that they have not added a... I, I kind of just assumed by this point they would add a Big Hero 6 characters in. The Japan Pavilion. I know Big Hero 6 doesn't take place in actual Tokyo, but it does take place in San Fran, Tokyo. San Fran, Tokyo. Um, so to me, it would just make sense to, to throw them in here at some point. But they haven't done that yet. Instead, we have a character that actually started over at Downtown Disney as the Disney Bear. And then he eventually became Duffy the Disney Bear. 
and after he became Duffy the Disney Bear. Um, he became extremely popular in Tokyo Disney. Now he's got a line of friends. Oh, I always hate this one because there's always people sitting right below. No, I don't want them thinking I'm a creeper. Let's try and do this one real quick. So if you look. All right, up here you got Duffy. And then they're making a Mickey. There's people sitting right below and they're just staring at me. So it looks like I'm taking pictures of them. <laughs> we got that one. And then another one that they just added this year. Zoom right down. Over this way. Another one where it doesn't even take place. This character's not even from Tokyo whatsoever. The only thing that makes this character somewhat Japan related is the fact that they work at a Japanese restaurant. It's right over here. We got the Monster Chef from Monsters Inc. from Harry Housen's. Mike Wazowski. I do like this one a lot though. He's got the four eyeballs there. That's a new one. They actually added a lot of new ones this year. We also got Wally and Eve this year for the first time. We got Splat from Strange World or Strange Plant, Strange World, Strange World. Um, we got him. We got Sorcerer Mickey this year, along with a broom. Broom's a character too. So many different Disney characters hidden throughout the festival. But for today, we've got one more that we're going to go take a look at. The final one's going to be over at the American Adventure Pavilion. So over at the American Adventure Pavilion. So many different classic characters that you could also take from America. Obviously, we got the Fab Five, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy, and Pluto. Sensational Six, you throw Daisy in there. The Elite Eight. If you throw in Chippendale, all great American characters. You could take characters like Tiana and Naveen, Louis the Alligator, Princess and the Frog, or you could add the characters that they added in, which are slow walkers. Uh, oh my gosh. I like the guys. Yeah, sweatshirt's kind of cool though. Check out your No, because it's with my eye scan, my path into the next. Alright. So the characters like Santino's are from the 1953 short cartoon Ben and Me. Now, if you ever watched Ben and Me, Ben and Me is a story about Amos, a mouse, who lives at the same house as Benjamin Franklin. And we find out that all of Benjamin Franklin's gifts and inventions and everything else that he's created throughout the years were not actually created or discovered by Ben Franklin, but they were actually discovered by Amos the Mouse. So if you look up here, you got a massive layer. There we go. If you look right up here, we got Amos with the key there. He was like Benjamin Franklin discovered electricity. In reality, it was Amos the Mouse who was up in a kite during that short cartoon. But that is going to wrap up our broadcast here today. Thank you everyone for joining us here at the Festival of the Arts. We'll go over to the lagoon here and wrap it up. But thank you everyone for joining us. As always, we did upload a brand new YouTube video today. Today's is from the Disney Wish. We've been doing a lot of Disney fantasy videos. It was a throwback to my trip back in September, hence the Halloween music that you can hear in the video. 
Give me the animation of Kennedy's going on over here. And then, of course, here's another one that happened some years ago. But as always, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I hope everyone out there is having a super califragilistic XPL atrocious type of day, and we'll see you guys once again a little later. Bye bye. That's right. It's what we fancy call the hidden name.